In today's video, I'll show you how to resize captions using the auto captions function inside CapCut. The first thing you need to do is tap on aspect ratio and make sure your aspect ratio is set correctly. Once you've got all your captions added and lined up with your screen recording, you can tap on text to speech and choose an AI voice. This will apply on AI voice to all of your auto captions. Before you generate your auto captions, make sure to edit your captions. That line should have said, make sure you enter the letters YW into the message field. If your captions are just one line, then you can easily resize them by pinching and zooming when a caption is selected. Scrub back to the beginning of your video, where you'll see that the text menu is already on the bottom of the screen. Tap the auto captions button and you'll get this window here. Here you can choose a template, but I'm going to just generate some captions for this example. You can always add a template later if you want to. Wait patiently for the captions to be generated and you'll see a second set of captions below the first. Select your first caption and tap on style. Here you can add a template if you want to do it after the captions have been generated. When you make a change on any of these panels, it will be applied to all of your auto captions throughout your entire video, so keep that in mind. I'm going to choose one of these preset styles. You'll notice that the captions on the bottom are yellow. These are the auto captions. They are exactly the same as the white captions above them, but they fit on screen properly. You can resize and reposition the yellow captions just as you did the white captions, but keep in mind that any change you make to the size and position of the captions will be applied to all of your auto captions. So you may need to go back and make some adjustments depending on how long your caption is. Since both sets of captions are the same, delete the first set. This will remove the big set of white captions, and once you've deleted all of the captions from the first set, export the video. Once the video is exported, you can find the completed video inside your camera roll. Text replacement is a feature built into the keyboard in iOS that allows you to enter common words quickly using abbreviations or phrases. Some examples might include how are you doing, or you're welcome. Here's how to set it up. Open settings, tap general, then tap keyboard. You'll find a setting called text replacement. Tap text replacement, here's a list of phrases. To add a new phrase, tap the plus sign and fill out the form. Type your welcome into the box that says phrase. The phrase box is where you add what you want to say. In this example, your welcome will be typed out anywhere. You can use text. The shortcut box is where you type the abbreviation or shortcut you want to use. Type the letters YW into the shortcut field. Tap on save to save. The new phrase, your welcome will be added to the list. As you add more phrases, you will see an alphabetical list like this. This one has been blurred out for privacy. Swipe up to close settings and open messages. Tap on the message field and type the letters YW with no spaces. Hit the space bar and your welcome will appear in place of the letters. Your welcome is short for you are welcome. It should be typed your welcome. To edit a phrase, select it and change the content of the phrase box. Include the apostrophe and tap save. Back in messages, type the letters YW into the message field. When you hit the send button to send your message or the space bar to continue typing, your welcome will be displayed properly. You'll need to choose your character. You can scroll down and choose any one of these. Note that just like before, the AI character will appear in the center of the screen. When you tap on the check mark, you have to wait for the speech to be generated. This happens in two stages. First, the speech is generated and then it's applied to the AI character. You'll need to have auto captions generated before you can add an AI character. If you're using a voiceover, don't mute the original video sound until after you've created your auto captions. Otherwise, you cannot add an AI character. Once this number reaches 100%, a character will be completed and you'll see a message that says one character applied. If you go back to the main toolbar, you'll see a little thumbnail that will appear. If you tap the thumbnail, you'll expand your AI character layer. 
scrub through your entire video to make sure that your AI character is one single layer, that this AI character layer is one single layer. So you can just select the AI character by tapping on the layer in the timeline, and you can move the AI character into position by just long pressing and dragging it over to the left or right. You can place the AI character wherever you want to. Just make sure that the character does not block what you're showing on screen. If you're using an AI character, clean up the audio. To do this, tap on the audio icon from the main toolbar, and the text-to-speech audio voice files will be exposed. You need to delete each one of these files one by one. Scrub through your entire video and delete each one of these audio files. Once you do, your audio will be cleaned up and you will hear one audio voice. Then export the video. Text replacement is a feature built into the keyboard and iOS that allows you to enter common words quickly using abbreviations or phrases. Some examples might include how are you doing or you're welcome here's how to set it up. Open settings. Tap general. Then tap keyboard. You'll find a setting called text replacement. Tap text replacement. Here's a list of phrases. To add a new phrase, tap the plus sign and fill out the form. Type your welcome into the box that says phrase. The phrase box is where you add what you want to say. In this example, your welcome will be typed out anywhere you can. Use text. The shortcut box is where you type the abbreviation or shortcut you want to use. Type the letters YW into the shortcut field. Just like this. Tap on save to save. The new phrase, you're welcome will be added to the list. As you add more phrases, you will see an alphabetical list like this. This one has been blurred out for privacy. Swipe up to close settings and open messages. Tap on the message field and type the letters Y, W with no spaces. Hit the space bar and your welcome will appear in place of the letters. Your welcome is short for you are welcome. It should be typed your welcome. To edit a phrase, select and change the content of the phrase box. Include the apostrophe and tap save back in messages. Type the letters YW into the message field when you hit the send button to send your message or the space bar to continue typing. Your welcome will be displayed properly. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.